Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video, we're gonna learn how to insert the images into the database. These are the images that we're gonna be working with, and as you can see, each image is associated with a single word. And this is a really good mind organizational tool with so much information these days. It's extremely useful to have a single word associated with an image so that you can organize what's really important for you in life. And this is what the final table is going to look like here. We're gonna be able to modify the fields without having to refresh the page. So if we wanna add another word association to the image, we can just type it up here, press enter, and the database or the table gets updated automatically without us having to refresh the page, and that is done with jQuery. And we can also add notes, anything about the image, working with the elements, water, fire, air, earth, and, and we're gonna be creating this display part in the second video because there's a, a pretty complicated code for creating jQuery. In this video, we're just gonna create a script for inserting the image data properly into the database. So let's go ahead and get started on that. All right, first I'm gonna go ahead and include or require functions.php that has some useful functions. And uh, the file is located under, under library, functions.php. We're gonna be using a function called copy files to first copy the images from a local directory to a server directory of the local server. And we're also gonna use local server path to HTTP to convert the image path to HTTP accessible um, URL so that we can properly display the image in a browser. All right, so you wanna make sure that you're including functions.php and um, if you're a Patreon subscriber, you can go, go ahead and download Clever Techie Workspace and all the files are there. All right, so first, let's go ahead and create the actual database. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect to MySQL here. And I'm gonna drop the existing database words. Drop database words. All right, so now let's go ahead and create the database. And I'm gonna be using MySQL Workbench First, we'll create the database by clicking on create a new schema in the connected server. I'm gonna name the schema or database words. Apply. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and select words, set as default schema, and then create new table under the schema words. I'm gonna click on this um, arrow here to add the columns. First one is gonna be ID, primary key, not null, and go ahead and check auto increment as well. So the first field, or the second field is gonna be image. And for the data type, we're gonna choose text because some of the image files are gonna be more than 255 characters. So that's the reason we're not using varchar. Then the next one is word. And this one is also gonna be text, association, text, and notes, text. So we'll just set all the images to text. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this extra field here. All right. All right, so that's all we need for our table. I'm gonna click apply. And you can see the, the code is gonna be executed here to create a table. I'm gonna click apply and the script was successfully applied to the database. So you can go ahead and check if the database exists now. Use words to select database. And then we can type show tables. And here's a words table. You can type describe words. And as you can see, these are all, all the columns of the table that we have just created with a simple ID, which is an auto increment, 
and four fields, image, word, association, and notes, which is a data type text. So we're now ready to connect to the database and insert all of our images into this table. All right, so let's just go ahead and create the database settings first. Host, user, and you wanna make sure to provide your credentials to connect to the database here. Database words. All right, we'll, and then we'll create MySQL I connection and connect to the database using these credentials. Select database or die MySQL I error MySQL I. All right, now we can go ahead and execute the script to see if it has connected to the database. And as you can see, we're not getting any error messages. That means the script has successfully connected to the database. So we're now ready to work with it. All right, so in order to get to these images, we're gonna go ahead and uh, copy this path here where the images are located. And this is going to be our local directory. So we want to go ahead and paste it inside of the local underscore dir variable. Then we're going to need to copy all these images into the local server directory. So let's create local server directory variable. And this one, and this path of the local server directory is going to be located inside the same folder as our insert files local db file so if you don't have a folder img here go ahead and create one and as you can see all the images are already here so i'm just going to go ahead and delete them for now and so you just want to make sure that you have an empty IMG folder inside of the same directory. So this should be under your Apache directory where you're executing your PHP scripts. In my case, it's under localhost, which is my Apache directory. All right, so just go ahead and right click on the IMG folder and click on copy path. And then we're gonna get this path off the server folder so that's our local server directory where we're going to be copying the images to. Now we're also going to need to create a local HTTP directory so that we can properly display the images in a browser. And all we need to do is convert this C into HTTP and also replace spaces with a percentage 20 so that it's properly displayed in a browser. Luckily, I already have a function in the functions uh, that we have included here. So under functions, you can search for this local server path to HTTP. And as you can see, it's converting any drive letter into HTTP and it's replacing spaces with percentage 20. And it's also taking care of the backslash and forward slash as well to convert it to the proper link. All right, so you can just go ahead and copy this function and then I'm gonna create a variable local HTTP there, paste the function name and then local server there. And that's going to convert it to the proper HTML link. So now let's go ahead and quickly test this out. Echo local HTTP there, view this in the browser. And as you can see, we get the folder in a proper HTTP format now. All right, so now let's go ahead and use our copy files function to copy local directory files to the local server directory. And that's just gonna copy all these files from a local directory from the E drive into the server directory, which is inside of our IMG folder under the Apache directory or Apache folder where we're going to be executing our scripts. Okay, so I'm also going to say files equals clean 
scan their local server there and that's gonna store all the files that we have copied into the local server directory inside of the files array and it's also gonna remove unnecessary stuff from the array with a clean scan there function which is also inside of our functions uh, library all right so now we can go ahead and test if it actually copies the files and then we can print out our files as well with a pre r function so let's go ahead and see what we get all right so it says copied files and then we get the array of all the files that have been copied with the file names so we have that and as you can see under the IMG folder we now have all of the images copied so that part is working and we have our array and we're now ready to insert all this data into the MySQL table and for that we're just gonna use a simple for loop so insert image files into the database we have everything ready so this will be very simple since we're already connected to the database and we have our files array so let's go ahead and create a for loop start with zero and loop until count files because that's the array that we're working with then for the word we're going to remove the extension so that we can have just the word and as you can see there are no extensions showing but if I go to view and check file extensions there are file extensions here and we're gonna need to remove those so that we can have just the word under the word column and for that we're gonna use remove ext function which is also part of the functions library and it simply uses a preg replace to replace all of these uh, image extensions and it's replacing them with nothing which means just to remove any of these matches from the file name all right so remove ext files i and files i to access the the array value and now we're going to create the HTTP path of the actual file and that is a combination of our local HTTP directory that we have uh, created earlier here and the actual file name which is files I and that will create the full path to our file name so that we can now properly linked to it also there might be spaces inside the files so we're also going to replace that with a percentage 20 in the same way that we did for the local server path function here okay so HTTP path equals prag replace exclamation mark and then space because that's the what we're replacing and we're replacing it with a percentage 20 HTTP path so that will just replace all the spaces inside the files with percentage 20 which is a proper way to link um, in a browser you can go ahead and test this out by printing out HTTP path view this in the browser and as you can see there is a link at the bottom here let's test this out and you can see that the image is properly displayed so we now so we're now sure that our link is properly formatted for displaying in a browser and now the final step is to create the SQL statement to insert this data into the database all right so first we're gonna create a query insert ignore into words and we're using ignore to ignore the duplicates word image so those are the only two fields that we're inserting into word and image word is the actual word without the extension 
and image is the destination of the image. Values. I want to make sure that you use single quotes here. Words and HTTP path. All right, we have our SQL statement, and the final step is to execute the query with MySQL query, query, or die MySQL I error. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and delete all these images first that we already have here, and now let's go ahead and execute the script. undefined variable words on line 24 oops okay so it should be word not words okay let's go ahead and delete the images once again and now run the script alright so it looks like everything has worked and under the image folder we have all, all of our images now let's go back to the command prompt and we can type select star from words and that will select all the records from our table and as you can see everything has worked out we have our image URL in which is properly formatted for displaying in the browser we have a word without the image extension and we have additional fields association and notes so and that's it for this video on how to insert image data into the database table and that's it that's how we insert image data into the MySQL database and in the next video we're gonna create a script that will display images like this like I show you guys in the beginning of this video so we can edit all these uh, records here without having to refresh the page and um, we can add As much text as we want here we can add another word we can add more word associations to associate with the image and we can have additional notes and it will be updated like that automatically uh, with the jQuery and that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.